Cushing syndrome describes the signs and symptoms associated with prolonged exposure to inappropriately high levels of the hormone cortisol. This can be caused by taking glucocorticoid drugs, or diseases that result in excess cortisol, adrenocorticotropic hormone, or CRH levels. Cushing's disease refers to a pituitary-dependent cause of Cushing syndrome. A tumor in the pituitary gland produces large amounts of ACTH, causing the adrenal glands to produce elevated levels of cortisol. It is the most common non-iatrogenic cause of Cushing syndrome, responsible for 70% of cases excluding glucocorticoid-related cases. An easy way to distinguish Cushing's syndrome from Cushing's disease is that the measured ACTH levels are lower in the former. The decrease in ACTH is due to increased negative feedback of cortisol on the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary. This pathology was described by Harvey Cushing in 1932. The syndrome is also called its Enko Cushing syndrome, hyperadrenocorticism or hypercorticism. Cushing syndrome is not confined to humans and is also a relatively common condition in domestic dogs and horses. It also occurs in cats, however, rarely. Signs and symptoms Symptoms include rapid weight gain, particularly of the trunk and face with sparing of the limbs. Common signs include the growth of fat pads along the collarbone, on the back of the neck or buffalo hump, and on the face moon face. Other symptoms include hyperhidrosis, telangiectasia, thinning of the skin and mucous membranes, purple or red stri on the trunk, buttocks, arms, legs or breasts, proximal muscle weakness, and hirsutism, boldness and or extremely dry and brittle hair in rare cases, Cushing's can cause hypercalcemia. The excess cortisol may also affect other endocrine systems and cause, for example, insomnia, inhibited aromatase, reduced libido, impotence in men, amenorrhea oligomenorrhea and infertility in women due to elevations in androgens. Studies have also shown that the resultant amenorrhea is due to hypercortisolism, which feeds back onto the hypothalamus resulting in decreased levels of GnRH release. Cognitive conditions, including memory and attention dysfunctions, as well as depression are commonly associated with elevated cortisol and may be early indicators of exogenous or endogenous Cushing's. Patients frequently suffer various psychological disturbances, ranging from euphoria to psychosis. Depression and anxiety are also common. Other striking and distressing skin changes that may appear in Cushing's syndrome include facial acne, susceptibility to superficial fungus infections, and the characteristic purplish, atrophic stri on the abdomen. Other signs include polyuria, persistent hypertension and insulin resistance, leading to hyperglycemia and insulin resistance which can lead to diabetes mellitus. Insulin resistance is accompanied by skin changes such as acanthosis nigricans in the axilla and around the neck, as well as skin tags in the axilla. Untreated Cushing syndrome can lead to heart disease and increased mortality. Cortisol can also exhibit mineral corticoid activity in high concentrations, worsening the hypertension and leading to hypokalemia. Furthermore, excessive cortisol may lead to gastrointestinal disturbances, opportunistic infections and impaired wound healing related to cortisol suppression of the immune and inflammatory responses. Osteoporosis is also an issue in Cushing's syndrome since osteoblast activity is inhibited. Additionally, Cushing's syndrome may cause sore and aching joints, particularly in the hip, shoulders, and lower back. Cushing the Euro unregistered trademark S syndrome includes all the causes of increased cortisol leading to the diseased state. Cushing Euro unregistered trademark S disease is a specific type of Cushing Euro unregistered trademark S syndrome caused by a pituitary tumor leading to excessive production of ACTH. Excessive ACTH stimulates the adrenal cortex to produce high levels of cortisol, producing the disease state. Cushing's disease due to excess ACTH may also result in hyperpigmentation. This is due to melanocytes stimulating hormone production as a byproduct of ACTH synthesis from proopium linicotin. A variant of Cushing's disease can be caused by ectopic, that is extra pituitary, ACTH production from for example a small cell lung cancer. When Cushing's syndrome is caused by an increase of cortisol at the level of the adrenal glands, 
negative feedback ultimately reduces ACTH production in the pituitary. In these cases, ACTH levels remain low and no hyperpigmentation develops. While all Cushing Euro unregistered trademark S disease is Cushing Euro unregistered trademark S syndrome, not all Cushing Euro unregistered trademark S syndrome is Cushing Euro unregistered trademark S disease. In summary, rapid weight gain, moodiness, irritability, or depression, muscle and bone weakness, memory and attention dysfunction, osteoporosis, diabetes mellitus, hypertension, immune suppression, sleep disturbances, menstrual disorders such as amenorrhea in women, decreased fertility in men, hirsutism, baldness, hypercholesterolemia, cause, there are several possible causes of Cushing syndrome. Exogenous versus endogenous, the most common cause of Cushing syndrome is exogenous administration of glucocorticoids prescribed by a healthcare practitioner to treat other diseases. This can be an effect of corticosteroid treatment of a variety of disorders such as asthma and rheumatoid arthritis, or in immunosuppression after an organ transplant. Administration of synthetic ACTH is also possible, but ACTH is less often prescribed due to cost and lesser utility. Although rare, Cushing syndrome can also be due to the use of medroxyprogesterone acetate. In this form of Cushing's, the adrenal glands atrophy due to lack of stimulation by ACTH, since glucocorticoids darwingulate production of ACTH. Cushing syndrome in childhood usually results from use of glucocorticoid medication. Endogenous Cushing syndrome results from some derangement of the body's own system of secreting cortisol. Normally, ACTH is released from the pituitary gland when necessary to stimulate the release of cortisol from the adrenal glands. In pituitary Cushing's, a benign pituitary adenoma secretes ACTH. This is also known as Cushing's disease and is responsible for 70% of endogenous Cushing's syndrome. In adrenal Cushing's, excess cortisol is produced by adrenal gland tumors, hyperplastic adrenal glands, or adrenal glands with nodular adrenal hyperplasia. Tumors outside the normal pituitary adrenal system can produce ACTH that affects the adrenal glands. This etiology is called ectopic or perineoplastic Cushing's disease and is seen in diseases like small cell lung cancer. Finally, rare cases of CRH secreting tumors have been reported, which stimulates pituitary ACTH production. Pseudo Cushing syndrome Elevated levels of total cortisol can also be due to estrogen found in oral contraceptive pills that contain a mixture of estrogen and progesterone, leading to pseudo-Cushing syndrome. Estrogen can cause an increase of cortisol binding globulin and thereby cause the total cortisol level to be elevated. However, the total free cortisol, which is the active hormone in the body, as measured by a 24-hour urine collection for urinary free cortisol, is normal. Epidemiology, iatrogenic Cushing syndrome is the most common form of Cushing syndrome. Cushing's disease is rare, a Danish study found an incidence of less than one case per million people per year. However, asymptomatic microadenomas of the pituitary are found in approximately one in six individuals. Pathophysiology, the hypothalamus is in the brain and the pituitary gland sits just below it. The paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus releases corticotropin-releasing hormone, which stimulates the pituitary gland to release adrenocorticotropin. ACTH travels via the blood to the adrenal gland, where it stimulates the release of cortisol. Cortisol is secreted by the cortex of the adrenal gland from a region called the zona fasciculata in response to ACTH. Elevated levels of cortisol exert negative feedback on the pituitary which decreases the amount of ACTH released from the pituitary gland. Strictly, Cushing's syndrome refers to excess cortisol of any etiology. One of the causes of Cushing's syndrome is a cortisol-secreting adenoma in the cortex of the adrenal gland. The adenoma causes cortisol levels in the blood to be very high, and negative feedback on the pituitary from the high cortisol levels causes ACTH levels to be very low. On the other hand, Cushing's disease refers only to hypercortisolism secondary to excess production of ACTH from a corticotroph pituitary adenoma or due to excess production of hypothalamus CRH. 
This causes the blood ACTH levels to be elevated along with cortisol from the adrenal gland. The ACTH levels remain high because the tumor is unresponsive to negative feedback from high cortisol levels. Cushing's disease is not to be confused with ectopic Cushing syndrome, which is often seen in perineoplastic syndrome. See its ICD-10 classification. Suspected either a dexamethasone suppression test, or a 24-hour urine remeasurement for cortisol offer equal detection rates. Dexamethasone is a glucocorticoid and simulates the effects of cortisol, including negative feedback on the pituitary gland. When dexamethasone is administered and a blood sample is tested, cortisol levels greater than 50 ml would be indicative of Cushing's syndrome because there is an ectopic source of cortisol or ACTH that is not inhibited by the dexamethasone. A novel approach, recently cleared by the US FDA, is sampling cortisol and saliva over 24 hours, which may be equally sensitive, as late-night levels of salivary cortisol are high in Cushingoid patients. Other pituitary hormone levels may need to be ascertained. Performing a physical examination to determine any visual field defect may be necessary if a pituitary lesion is suspected, which may compress the optic chiasm causing typical butemporal hemianopia. When any of these tests are positive, CT scanning of the adrenal gland and MRI of the pituitary gland are performed to detect the presence of any adrenal or pituitary adenomas or incidentalomas. Scintigraphy of the adrenal gland with iodocholesterol scan is occasionally necessary. Occasionally, determining the ACTH levels in various veins in the body by venous catheterization, working towards the pituitary is necessary. In many cases the tumors causing Cushing's disease are less than 2 mm in size and difficult to detect using MRI or CT imaging. In one study of 261 patients with confirmed pituitary Cushing's disease, only 48% of pituitary lesions were identified using MR imaging prior to surgery. Plasma CRH levels are inadequate at diagnosis because of peripheral dilution and binding to CRHBP. Mnemonic, the word Cushingoid is a useful way to consider the complications and symptoms of Cushing's. Cataracts, ulcers, skin, striae. Thinning, bruising, hypertension slash hirsutism slash hyperglycemia, infections, necrosis, a vascular necrosis of the femoral head, glycosuria, osteoporosis, obesity, immunosuppression, diabetes, treatment. Most Cushing syndrome cases are caused by corticosteroid medications, such as those used for asthma, arthritis, and other inflammatory conditions. Consequently, most patients are effectively treated by carefully tapering off the medication that causes the symptoms. If an adrenal adenoma is identified it may be removed by surgery. An ACTH secreting corticotrophic pituitary adenoma should be removed after diagnosis. Regardless of the adenoma's location, most patients will require steroid replacement postoperatively at least in the interim as long-term suppression of pituitary ACTH and normal adrenal tissue does not recover immediately. Clearly, if both adrenals are removed, replacement with hydrocortisone or prednisolone is imperative. In those patients not suitable for or unwilling to undergo surgery, several drugs have been found to inhibit cortisol synthesis but they are of limited efficacy. Mifepristone is a powerful glucocorticoid type 2 receptor antagonist and, since it does not interfere with normal cortisol homeostasis type I receptor transmission, may be especially useful for treating the cognitive effects of Cushing's syndrome. However, the medication faces considerable controversy due to its use as an abortifacient. In February 2012 the FDA approved mifepristone in order to control high blood sugar level in adult patients who are not candidates for surgery, or who did not respond to prior surgery, with the warning that mifepristone should never be used by pregnant women. Removal of the adrenals in the absence of a known tumor is occasionally performed to eliminate the production of excess cortisol. In some occasions, this removes negative feedback from a previously occult pituitary adenoma which starts growing rapidly and produces extreme levels of ACTH, leading to hyperpigmentation. This clinical situation is known as Nelson's syndrome. See also, Addison's disease, list of cutaneous conditions, references.
external links, the European Register on Cushing's Syndrome, Patient Information, Cushing Support and Research Foundation, brochure for primary care physicians, to increase awareness of Cushing's Syndrome, the Pituitary Foundation providing support to patients with Cushing's and other pituitary disorders, the difference between Cushing the Euro Unregistered Trademark S disease and other forms of Cushing the Euro Unregistered Trademark S syndrome.